Hi, my name is Rob, and I'm here from ionizersreviewed.com. And today we're going to take an extensive look at the three top water alkalizer ionizer machines. Today we're looking at the Tiant MMP5050. We're looking at the Enagic Levelluck SD501, as well as the Jupiter Aquarius Edition. The reason our project exists is very simple. Alkalized ionized water is subjectively dependent upon source water. So if you're not conducting your tests with the exact same source water at the exact same time, it's virtually impossible to draw any type of conclusive data to compare results and to draw comparisons. To introduce the top three performance very quickly, we have the Jupiter Aquarius. Now don't let the front fascia fool you. The, this is simply the limited edition Jupiter Platinum Water Ionizer. So this is the Jupiter Top of the Line Aquarius. This is available throughout the country via a network of dealers. Jupiter's main import website is ionizers.org. That's I-O-N-I-Z-E-R-S dot org. And the Jupiter Aquarius retails for $1,495. Our next unit that we'll be looking at is the Enagic Leveluck SD501. The Enagic is sold throughout the country via a network of independent sales reps. The retail price is $3,999. And you can find this unit online, if you like, at heartlandherbshop.com. That's H-E-A-R-T-L-A-N-D-H-E-R-B-S-H-O-P.com. And again, that's the Enagic Level Up SD501. And the final unit that we'll be evaluating here today is the Tiant Retin. Now, the Tiant Retin is available directly from tiantusa.com. That's T-Y-E-N-T-U-S-A.com, and it has a retail price of $1,795. And now for the fun part, our comparisons and tests. And we want to talk very briefly about how we're conducting these tests so that you know that we're conducting them in a manner that's professional, ethical, and going to be truth-revealing. First of all, we have multiple camera angles set up so that we're capturing this test and these comparisons from two different angles at the same time. One camera is on our cups and our uh, pH and ORP meter, and another camera angle is on our configuration so that you can see these units as they are filling up the corresponding cups. We will make several cuts so that we can zoom in and focus on the specific tests as the tests are being conducted. The cuts will be done one at a time so that you can see it. as one is changing, you can correspond the change and compare with the other angle at the same time. So to begin, we'll engage the water supply and again, we want to make sure that each and every unit is coming out at about the same flow. We'll now go ahead and turn on our tiant. On each unit, we're going to select the highest level of alkaline drinking water that the unit's capable of producing. So we'll engage the touch screen on the tiant by pressing our third preset. On our Enagic unit, we'll turn the power on, and we'll engage our Canyon level 3, which is Canyon drinking water level 3, or the 9.5 setting. And we'll engage the Jupiter Aquarius unit, on level four, which is its top level of alkaline production. We'll give each unit a few moments to turn on and warm up, and we'll take our first glass, the glass on the left, and we'll fill it up with the water from the tiant unit. And we'll return the tiant water unit to its corresponding position on the left. We'll now take the middle cup and fill it up with the Enagic unit. And we'll return that to its spot in the center. And we'll take our third cup and fill it up with the Jupiter Aquarius Alkaline Level 4. And we'll return that as well to the position on the right side of the test area. We'll turn off each one of the units. and disengage the water supply, and we'll move on to our tests. We'll turn our unit back on, our HANA pH and ORP meter, and we'll begin our test here today with the Jupiter Aquarius test. And as this turns on, we'll now go and test the pH of our Jupiter Aquarius. Now at the same time that we begin these tests, you'll see that the camera angle will change, and now we'll focus in on the test area so you can see the specific results. We're going to give each solution about 30 seconds to register and to settle, 
And as we do that, we'll also check back and forth between the ORP meters and see where the solutions come in. Jupiter is about 9.2. We'll press the button to switch to ORP. And we'll see that we're registering about a negative 106, 107. And as it begins to settle, and our 30 seconds concludes, we'll return to pH and take our final reading. Of 9.31 for the Jupiter Aquarius, our test solution on the right. 9.35. Nine point three seven, and now we'll go to the Enagic Canyon water in the center, and you'll see that we'll get a quick jump here. Nine point six eight, nine point seven zero. We'll switch to ORP and compare that data. We've made a significant jump now to negative one thirty, and again, the lower that you go on the ORP, the better the ORP antioxidant potential is. One thirty two, negative one thirty three. And as our time period concludes, we'll jump back over to pH and take a final reading. And it seems as if we've leveled off around a 9.78 or a 9.8. And our third and final test from the Tiant Retin unit is on the left. We'll adjust this a little bit here so you can see on the other side. The unit jumps very quickly all the way up to a 10. 0.02, and as that settles, we'll check our ORP range. We've jumped a little bit there to a negative 148, 149, and that'll probably get somewhere around 150, negative. And concluding the time period for the Tiant Retin unit, our final test subject here today. And we'll jump back to our pH, and it looks as if we've settled right around a 10.05, or the highest of the subjects we're comparing here today. So what have we learned? Well, in comparing the three machines, it's clear that the Tyne has the highest level of pH and ORP performance, followed up very closely by the Enagic. The Enagic Canyon water is going to come in just below that with about a 9.7, 9.8, and a negative ORP of about 140, which is followed up by a distant third, which is the Jupiter Aquarius, which is quite surprising because many people believe that the Jupiter seems to outperform those, and in fact here we've learned today that that's not true. Thank you.